What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys an overview of the Android P beta number two for the OnePlus 6. Now OnePlus announced when the OnePlus 6 came out that they would have the first Android P beta available and they released that shortly after launch. There wasn't really that much going on in the first Android P beta, but they've actually made quite a few significant changes, added some Oxygen OS tweaks into this particular version. Now the first thing, if you guys checked out my video talking about the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL version of the Android P beta a little while ago, is that you already know that of course Android P is now Android 9.0 officially and OnePlus did change that in the Android P beta number 2 as you guys can see right there. The next thing that they did is they added support for their gestures back into this version of Oxygen OS with Android 9. So now you can use the full screen gestures where you swipe on the left or the right to go back, or you can swipe straight up the middle to go home. You can swipe up the middle and hold it to get your recent apps. So that's enabled in settings now. You just go to settings, go to buttons and gestures, navigation bars and gestures, and you can choose it right there. Navigation gestures, choose that, and you can use that nice navigation. Now you will notice that OnePlus does not have the option to use the new navigation gestures on Android P on the Pixel 2 or the Pixel 2 XL. I guess that's by choice because they have their own navigation gestures. The next big thing is the camera. So the camera was very unstable in the first version of the P beta for the OnePlus 6. It does appear to work just fine now. The rear camera is fine. It's a little bit slower than using it on the stable build, but portrait mode and everything like that seems to be working quite a bit better. They also made one huge addition, which is they've added Google Lens into the mix. Unfortunately, I've tried multiple times to use it since I installed this uh, beta 2, and it doesn't seem to work. I'll show you guys. If you choose Google Lens, it doesn't actually do anything. It kind of grays out the camera and then I have to go back. And if you go back, you'll see that it's not selected. So I try to select Google Lens, go back and you can see it's not actually working or doing anything. So Google Lens is supposed to identify the thing that you're looking at, sort of give you some information about it. It's been brought to a bunch of different cameras uh, for third party OEMs and OnePlus has said they're gonna integrate it everywhere. Apparently it's supposed to be working here on the OnePlus 6 Android P Beta 2, but it obviously isn't working fully as you can see. The next thing, which hopefully you guys noticed, is the custom colors in the themes. Android fans have been asking OnePlus for this for a long time. OnePlus has always had this amazing theming capability where you can get a dark mode and also choose an accent color. In the past, the accent colors were just a finite choices, so you can see you have all these choices that you could choose from, but now you actually have a custom color picker. So you can see here that I have a custom color enabled. You can go here and you've got a slider from which you can choose your custom colors. So this is really nice. You can use it to match your wallpaper, match your theme, whatever you want. You can see what it looks like up there too. As I go across, it's sort of previewing the theme that I'm going to get when I actually choose that custom color. So this is something a lot of OnePlus fans have wanted for a really long time. It's obviously something that's gonna make a lot of people happy and adding extra customization is always a big deal. For me, I think this is probably the most interesting of the updates that they added in the Android P beta 2. And as far as I know, this is not in any other versions of the OnePlus Oxygen OS. A few other things were also fixed from the first beta as well. You can see now that you can enable the battery percentage just like you can on the newest stable build. It's right there in the status bar that's done in battery from settings. You also have the ability to once again hide the notch. This is something that you couldn't do on the first beta. So if you go to notch display, you can now go to hide the notch area and then it will do that for you. So that's a nice thing that they added back. They've also added back the ambient display features which is also of course available in the standard build you see right there. Now one thing I have noticed is that when you go into ambient display, sometimes the theme colors change. You guys can see I have the pink theme set right there. If you go deep into the display settings, so if you go to display, ambient display, you see it changed to red. I don't think that's supposed to happen. It's supposed to be uniform. So it's obviously a little bit of a bug, but it is a beta version of the software. So it's definitely something that you can expect. So those are most of the new features that they've added in with the 
Beta 2 for Oxygen OS on the OnePlus 6. There are still a couple problems though that I would caution you from installing this on your daily driver. Bluetooth does not actually work at all on this build. I tried to pair several devices and it doesn't work at all. It just won't stay paired to any devices like headphones, my TV or my car, which also means you won't be able to use Android Auto or smartwatch if you happen to have one of those. Also, Netflix doesn't work at all. In fact, if you install DRM Info, you can see that the Widevine certification isn't even supported in any level. OnePlus does mention this in the change log. If you go to Netflix, it's just gonna close out the Netflix app and tell you that it's not compatible with Netflix at all, tell you to go to try to install a different version of Netflix. But unfortunately, because of the fact that it is beta software, there is no version of Netflix that's gonna be compatible with the OnePlus 6 running this particular build. Last thing to mention is they did fix face unlocking, so you can use your face to unlock now. This was a problem in the first beta, but it does appear to work fine now. You guys can see there, if I peek out from behind the camera, it'll unlock the phone very quickly does seem to be just as fast as on the stable build. So that's an overview of what's new on the Oxygen OS Android 9.0 Beta 2 for the OnePlus 6. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification icon so I can make future videos like this. Find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. You can also find me writing at gadgethacks.com where I write about Android. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I'll try to get back to you. Appreciate you guys checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.